quite a few questions around websites and AdSense. Uh, questions like, okay, so I've got a website, it's live, I'm getting really good traffic on there, but I'm not getting much money from ads. Um, and I thought in this video I'd go over just a simple few steps which will help you guys increase your AdSense earning, which is specifically targeted around CPC. Or even from YouTube, if you want to increase your earnings from YouTube, um, Obviously, there's quite a lot of people that sort of monetize their YouTube and they want to sort of maximize their revenues from it or from their website or whatever you want to do. This is a simple little trick that not many people know of, to be honest, um, but it's really effective. It will increase your earnings quite significantly as well, because what you'll find is... Um, on your website, once you go through this method, you will see there are some um, sort of ad providers, if you like, that do not pay anything. So they might be getting clicks, but you're not actually getting paid for it. And uh, it's quite alarming, really. I mean, Google should be all over this, but uh, again, they're not. But this is just one simple video that will increase your earnings. So before I get into it, guys, if you are new to the channel, please hit subscribe. And if you did find this video useful, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to be putting a lot more videos around sort of website and hosting and AdSense and traffic. And that's going to be over the next couple of weeks. So let me get straight into this. So you will see on your AdSense, if you go to your um, allow and block section, which is here, you will have all your sites there. These are all web, uh, websites that I did years ago, so they're not currently active. However, this one is at the bottom. For those of you that follow me, you'll know that I use this website. Um, as you can see, there's a load of blocked ads there, and there's a reason for it. So I'm going to show you exactly why I have blocked these ads. So first thing, if you go over to this website here, which is ctrlq.org forward slash sandbox, and then in here, put in your website put your website in here and click on show google ad this website this sandbox page will show you all the ads that is currently on your page and then what we will do is use the provider to establish what the cpc rate is now for those of you that don't know how google ads work is the main factor on Google Ads is the CPC. So the higher your CPC, the more you will get per click. Now, on average, I think it's usually about 10 cents, um, but this can range anything up to 15 pounds. And there is ways to specifically target a certain keyword where you can massively increase it. So you could even get 35, 40, 50 pound per click. Um, but then you are looking into very specific categories and niches. Um, but if you want to learn more about that guys again hit subscribe and i'll go through that in a later video it's quite simple so for this video to increase the cpc rate on our site to earn more money first of all have a look at the ads that's on there so google i'd imagine is pretty decent but all you're going to want to do is copy the link to the ads you can see they are directly underneath them go over to this website which is keywordspy.com quite simple and then click on keywords just paste in the address from the sandbox page and that will tell you how much um, the ads are worth so if we go to ads and we will be focusing on the CPC column. Now, as you can see, this is quite decent. It's Google. They are pretty good. Obviously, there's some low ones there. Um, but, you know, there's loads of ads to choose from, as you can see. So it could be any one of them. And they do range from anything from 20 cents up to seven, uh, $7.30. Obviously, that's American. So if we switch this over to UK, where I am based. As you can see, they vary from 30 pence a click and you've got 2.50, 369, 383. So it does vary. So that's one site. So we're going to leave that on. That's quite decent. Let's have a look at the next one. So if we use this uh, television fanatic website, obviously that's an ad that's going to be displayed. So we'll put that into the main section of keyword spy. And as you can see, now this is a relatively low one. There is some high ones there. So you've got a pound, two pound. Um, you've got some 14 pence. You've got some that's four pence. For the sake of the others that's on there, if you want to block that, that's completely up to you. Um, I probably would. Um, but again, that's completely your choice. So if we have a look at this one, I think this is quite a low paying one. Ideally, you want to keep the sort of um, ads on there that are over a pound. So as you can see, 
this one there is nothing i'm going to quickly flick on over to the us version just to make sure that there's no different yeah as you can see there is some on the us section so just be careful when you're searching make sure you're searching by country okay guys so as you can see there's some for one 16 uh, 16 cents one dollar 66 34 so that is quite low so i'm going to block this one and to block it simply copy that over to your allow and block section and you've got advertiser URLs there and simply start making a list guys paste them straight in so let's have a look at the next one this one and there we go there's two there and they are both over one dollar so they're pretty decent so we will leave them on so if we go on to the next one and it's just a case guys of going through each and every one um and literally hitting them having a look what the uh, the ad value is worth and then if it's not good block it if it is good leave it um and that way what you're doing is eliminating all the low paid uh, cpc um ads that's on your page so you will be left with the higher paying ones and as you can see this is quite a decent one look eleven dollars seven dollars this is per click so these are the type that you want to leave on your website okay and like i said it will take time for google to update that so it's not going to be sort of an instant change but it will help you massively increase your cpc so if you are getting loads of clicks and not enough money from adsense through your website and you're looking to increase your earnings I hope you found this video useful, guys. As I said, there's going to be a lot more videos coming up um, around AdSense. It's really important to use your keywords. And target high-paying niches or keywords, and that will increase it even more. So if you are making a website strictly to monetize it, obviously I'm not. Uh, my ads are there to support my cost um, for the niche that I'm in. Um, I do mine out of fun. Um, obviously, my website's used for hosting and things like that, so I'm not specifically um, monetizing the website although there is some ads on there. So any support from the ads or clicks that I do get, I am gratefully appreciative of. Um, and, and that is simply to help me cover my costs from my end. Um, I do have a couple of other websites, which I do run ad hoc to endlessflix.co.uk. Um, and that is specifically targeted around certain niches, um, which are for monetizing. So over the next couple of weeks, guys, I'm going to be bringing you more content on how to make more money from your website or through Google ads sense or through other platforms which are widely available but may not be um as popular or may not be as known out there guys so until the next time guys i will see you soon